All right, back up and run. Huzzah. <laughs> A poor, poor computer just kind of crashed entirely on me. Oh well, those things happen. <laughs> See if I can get the chat in here. Huzzah, I can talk. Excellent. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone here yet. Yeah, get some music going. too large. It's too small. And that is just right. Cool. Hey, Mad Hatter. How are you doing today? I'm just sitting here thinking up ideas. Thinking up cool strategy things. Nothing too serious. How are you doing today? Hmm. Be a good one. Just finished putting in all the blind stuff. Hey there, Fall 69. Xbox One, that's pretty impressive. Maximum DT, hello to you too, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know if there's any ma'ams who play this game, but it's a possibility. How's it going this evening, guys? Uh, let's see. I was just thinking of making some, uh, making up some fleets for tomorrow's uh, game night. And come up with anything yet? We are getting the uh, the new wave. Uh, what wave are we on? Five. The new wave fives tomorrow, in theory. So looking forward to playing around with the uh, board cube a little bit. <laughs> nice. Klingons. Hmm. I know a lot of women that play Klingons actually. Klingons are Klingons are bored for the most part. I wonder if that says anything about their personalities. <laughs> Let's see. Kind of thinking about a uh, a single cube build for uh, another arena event. Already done through. Already had to go through two of them without wave five, so I was kind of disappointed. Oh yeah, maximum VT. That is definitely a. Uh, it definitely has some cool abilities, but I'm really liking the uh, the large base is actually going to help it move faster. And the uh, what am I thinking of? The uh, oh, the uh, not losing its action ability. That's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. Just barrel into somebody and is like, "Hi, I'm still here. I'm going to battle stations against you and target lock and tractor beam." 
that's one of the pretty cool things. You can like run into somebody and still track your beam and uh, cutting beam if you had if you're running that. But let's see. I'm thinking basic board cube is pretty good. Not sure I really need the big one, the named one. Where are you? That's the sphere. Got in all the, got in all the data from the new blind packs, so that'll be fun. Oh, that's not right. Update that one there. Hmm. Q one three eight. Well, let's try that. When's Newborg? Newborg is coming tomorrow, Fall 69. We're gonna get the cube, and then sometime in July, we're gonna be getting the, uh, the what's it called? The Soong ship. After that, there's gonna be a month break, so. Delays are sad, but we already have so much stuff to play with right now, it's kinda silly. So let's see, cube 138. Is 46 points. Everyone loves Picard, so let's throw him on there. Oh yeah, I'm just running through my uh, my Overclock Remix folder, so it's got it's got pretty much everything on here. Mm, a bit. I haven't played haven't played Chrono in a long, long time. I feel it makes me feel old now. <laughs> yeah, overclock remixes are pretty cool. I never know what I'm gonna hear because I've got like two thousand things on this list, so I don't even know what's on here. Two thousand three hundred and sixty-seven, it looks like. Oh, those are anime songs. I don't need those on there. 2,359, that's better. So, let's see. I was thinking Picard. Well, Picard is always the kind of go-to guy. So I want to do a switch. I want to do. A, I want to be able to do a switch out if I'm making this for Arena. So, let's, let's name this an Arena Cube. Arena Giga Cube. And I know, Fall 69, we're probably all going to be bored pretty soon. Am I even reading that right? You're kind of a green shade, so it's kind of hard to read. So let's see. If I want a pilot skill after that, I'm going to need the reinforcement board. We'll throw... Oh, this is one of the things I wanted to try. We're going to throw Wayun. Because he's... Uh, Wayun's a defensive guy, though. I mean, if you're, the, if you're going for a one thing... A one-ship board, you don't really need to be defensive, you really need to just kill everything. Probably should go for someone more offensive. Let's take the card then. Put the card on there. I'm gonna throw... Who's gonna be my, uh... My sacrificial lamb, where is he? This guy, the, uh, Vulcan. Sobal. No, not so long. Tavek. Tavek's gonna be cheap, he's gonna give me an extra clue slot, so he's gonna be pretty pretty handy. I mean, I don't really need to keep him after the captain's battle, so... Should be kinda neat. And that gives me an extra crew slot to work with, so then I'll have... What? Uh, a tech, two weapons, a crew, and two Borg. Not sure if I need tactical cube 138, but we'll see how the, uh, the points add up in a minute. So what are you guys? What are you guys up to? Any uh, any of you guys have any uh, cool fleets that you've been thinking about running? Yeah, let's see. We don't get a uh, talent. Am I lagging? Am I dropping frames, or am I just like 10 or 20 seconds behind? Because the thing with Twitch is to make sure that it gets to you know everyone at the same time. I should be like you know. The chat will be like 10 seconds behind what I'm talking about. Or I'll be 10 seconds behind you guys. One or the other. Uh, where are they going? Let's see. Let's try... No talent slots. 
So, Borg slots. Well, I can start with an Ablative Armor. So that's always fun. It's only 7 points on the cube. And, not running... Not running any drones. Um, how about... What do I got? I've got Tractor Beam. Or... Another Ablative Armor. Mm. I don't know. There have there been a lot of people trying to run regular fleets these days, so let's go ahead and go with the uh, tractor beam. That one is seven points. Sure. Tractor beam, seven points. Yep. Yeah. You're looking at the broadcast, Paul sixty nine. This is a. Uh, Kind of a kind of a chill, relaxed day today. Just uh, nothing, nothing super scheduled. But if anyone you know wanted to talk about, you know, I'm I'm running this. Do you think it's a good idea? I'll be like, yeah, sure I do. Or uh, you should try this instead. You know. Over a minute. Oh yeah, because you're looking at the uh, you're looking at the chat window over here. Weird. But it's probably it might be really busy because of all the uh, the E3 coverage going on right now. There's all the E3 stuff, and uh, I know Origins isn't going to be using Twitch right now, but Origins, the board gaming convention, is is up and running. The updated card spoiler. Yes, Mad Hatter. I was looking to put it up just as soon as I got a hold of my Wave Three stuff tomorrow, so I could confirm all the all the good maneuver dials and all that. So I've got I've got a big empty space here that needs uh needs filling in. I'm pretty sure that they were somewhere online, but I like to confirm these things myself sometimes. New Vulcan prize ship, yes, I like it a lot. The new Vulcan prize ship has uh, some really great upgrades. It's very tiny though. I don't think I have the stats for it on me right now, but uh, it's like a 2142. But it has a lot of neat tech upgrades that I'm going to love to steal with, oh, either you know, assimilation, two duels, or something else. There's a lot of things that are stealing stuff coming up. I think the uh, what is it over here? Hijack. Hijack might be pretty good. Like you can, hijack is one of those things that you can use on your own ship to uh, to steal or rearrange a tech or a weapon upgrade that you can't usually get. Let's see, crewman Vo crewman Koss. I like him a lot actually. Uh, he's the one. Which one? Where is he? Did I put him? I haven't input him yet. But he's the uh, he's the two point guy that uh, that prevents all any of your upgrades from being affected. So. No assimilation tubules, no Miles O'Brien, no uh, none of that stuff. So I like him quite a bit. Uh, he isn't the, you know, if you really want to get by him, you can, because you know he he protects everything else besides himself. So you know if you gank him or you assimilate him, then you can move on to the next thing. But if you're only running like one board thing with with the uh, assimilation tubes. Like the tubes have to disable, so that's going to be three, three actions before you can actually get the th steal the thing you wanted to steal. So I think he's going to be a, I think he's going to be a pretty good deal for uh, for anyone want, that wants to run a big combo ship. So it, it helps it helps the Voyager guarantee it's going to get off its transphasics and all that good stuff. Twitch anonymous Twitch. I think that's Fall sixty nine again. My Giga Cube, Reinforcement, Queen, Feedback, 7, and then Cube 138, Tana that gets you an extra tech. Three Cloaked Mines? Can you get three Cloaked Mines on this thing? No, I can't be right. No, it's only got, even with Tana it's only got, it's only got two of the, uh, two tech slots. So that's one too many. Oh no, Balana. I see Balana all the way at the end. 
<laughs> so let's see. So that's wow. Cloak mines, cloak mines, cloak mines. Assimilation, two mules. Full assault. Full assault's not bad. And Bellana Torres. So you've got a lot of you've got a lot of control over there. You've got you've got your queen in case you need. Oh, I see. You switch out the queen for Tanalos the first time. Then you can switch out the feedback pulse after you use the mine. Seven of nine can replenish the board queen. Oh, that's pretty nice. How much is that on the sideboard? Uh, what is that? Six for the queen, eight for feedback pulse, and five for seven, and four for seven of nine? Four for seven and nine, so six, eight, and four. So you got two points there for, I don't know, a talent. You could probably just throw a, maybe not red alert, but invaluable advice is always a good one. Because the only other thing is what? Captain, crew, tech, talent. Yeah, we got Captain, Tech, and Crew. What am I missing? Captain, Crew, Tech, Talent. There's five slots, isn't there? Weapon. Oh, you don't need another weapon. Two points for weapons is nothing. It's junk. It's garbage. Unless there was something that came good with the new packs, but I don't think there was. I just realized today when I was going over things that the uh, Bajoran maneuverability is not is not one of those that's limited to small ships. I feel like I'm gonna have to put this on something huge just to be uh, just to be hilarious with it. You can put that on a cube and then you could sit on a planet. I think that'd be kind of intimidating looking. So let's see, where was I going with this one? So you're going the cloak mine route. I mean that's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of sustained damage, but see so you don't have a lot of defense on that. But if you can just keep running around like a planet or something, if there is a planet, then uh, I think you have a I think you have a solid chance of frustrating a whole heck of a lot of people with that. <laughs> I'm gonna say if you're running this in the arena though, make sure you remember that uh, uh, your minds will not stay on the board if you uh, before the, if you place them before the captain's battle. So you'll get three turns of the minds and then they'll get wiped out. So you might want to save save one or two of them. The problem is if you save one or two of them, it might be hard to find a spot that your opponent is going to set up that's going to leave you, that'll leave you room for the, to put your minds down again. Wait, Twitch Anonymous Twitch, you're using cloaked minds? We don't run cloaked minds at our venues. That's not Charlie. <laughs> Thought for sure you were Charlie. Ah oh, well. Does seem like a pretty cool build though. Uh, let's see, where was I with my build? 63 points. So then let's go with weapons. Full assault's actually pretty good on the cube, not gonna lie. Four di four dice and five dice is, is is not bad. Or or if you just want to keep it up, you know, three dice and six dice. We can throw uh let's see. If I could spell full assault. Uh, for my crew, I have two crew slots, so let's go with, what do I want to go with? Oh, this is what I was going to do. I was thinking, uh, what's the card? Transwarp for a tech, it's going to be four points, and three points for Romulan pilot. What? No. You don't want invaluable advice on there? Why not? You got two free points, don't you? So let me see. One thir keep 138 is... Ah, 46 points. 7, 4, 8, 49, 50, cloaked mines, 54, 58, 62, 70, 77, 83, 
88. Plus the reinforcement is 98. 6, 8, 14. 4 is 18. Yeah, you got two free points on that on that board. And talent slot. What else are you going to spend it on? Two cost talents. Disobey orders. Eh. Invalid advice is great. And all these other ones are just... All these other ones you're not going to have access to yet because they're going to they're the ones in the uh, the blind builds. But these are all pretty nice too. Can't wait to use these. I wonder if the uh, venues are going to are going to be allowing these blind ships in your regular builds. Cuz until up until now like most build, most places have been like, "Oh, you get your participation prize after the battle and you can't use the same prize ship in the same month." So be like, oh hey, I want a Creighton. Oh, but I can't use it at another OP1 event. I wonder if they're gonna I wonder how they're gonna do work with this since they're gonna be the same ships for the uh, all three uh, all three months of the Dominion War. Not the Dominion War, the Borg Collective. Alright, so let's see, the idea here is because of the size of the board, you can transwarp six ahead. Because the cube is huge, that's like being at eight. Eight bases from your starting line. Romulan Pilot should be able to get you another two forward, plus the two of the board base again. That's going to be, you'll be 12 bases forward from your starting line, and that's actually enough to hit someone who is, that's actually enough to hit the far side of the board at range three. So that's a good way to uh, get up close and personal. And I was gonna throw Breen Aid on there. A Breen Aid? Nah. Uh, Picard, I guess I don't really need. What's his name? I love Bohika, but I want to do more damage in the early game. So let's go with let's go with that that green blooded Vulcan, Mr. Spock. So what are we at? Forty nine. 53, 63, 67, 73, 76, 82. Still got eight points left if I want it. What am I missing? I can do another. I can do another weapon. Can I do another tech? I can't do another tech. Two Borg, one tech, two weapon, two crew. So, I mean, I could go for the. Uh, oh, I know what I want. Where are you? Give me that. Give me that Borg missile. All the auxiliary power tokens. Yes. Hit someone with five auxiliary power tokens, see what they can do after that. Alright. So now my total is. looks like 98 points. Use my quick calculator just to be sure. Tavek, is Tavek actually three? Did I say he was three or two or three? On the Vulcan ship. Two, all right, so I did that right. Ablative, Sir Seven, Tractor Beam for Seven, Transwarp, Full Assault, Board Missile, Prime of the Pilot, Mr. Spock, and the Reinforcement Cyborg, 98 points. A lot of these board, a lot of these board builds are ending up at fewer and fewer points, I'm thinking. It's kind of neat. It's weird, my viewer list says I still only have, like, one person. Oh no, I have more people. It just doesn't update, I guess. Hello, Twitch Anonymous Chip, Twitch Anonymous Twitch, P. Chappell, Maximum DT, and Fall 69. Welcome to our Star Trek Attack Wing Hangout. <laughs> Evil laugh is the Borg missile. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It doesn't do any hull damage, but it is going to hurt the uh, with all those auxiliary power tokens you can stack on somebody. That'll be lots of fun. A lot of custom scenarios, huh? I don't know. The cube. The, I was thinking originally the cube wouldn't have much to offer beyond the uh, beyond the sphere, but. 
just the, the whole the whole action thing is actually pretty huge. That's what I'm liking. Welcome, P. Chappelle. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, E3 is everywhere. I was watching the uh, I was watching some of the Nintendo stuff earlier this morning and some of the PlayStation stuff, but nothing nothing got my eye too much. Nintendo was kind of fun looking as always. Even though I love the way it looks, but I never end up actually playing my Wii. Don't have a Wii U. So, oops. I'm not a very good fanboy. Uh, let's see. What can I throw on this reinforcement sideboard? I've got seven on Picard. Mm, should I do cheat death? Cheat death's not bad. Well, I need cheat death though. Ooh, Arena! I love Arena. Played, I already played two of them. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't get that, uh... I didn't get my second video off of that. I guess it doesn't really matter, because there were only two of us at that one event. Oh, Proxy and the, the Moth. That's the, uh, that's the blind ship, right? Yeah. I don't know, the Bemoth... Oh, I take it back. I love the Bemoth. I love... I kind of love all of these blind ships, really. Like, they all look like they would be great swarm ships. Which makes me sad, because now I'm going to need, like, three of each of them, and they're going to be so hard to get. Can you use two sphere tomorrow? Um, sure. I mean, we're not having any tournaments tomorrow. It's just, you know, casual play. But I probably won't be running two sphere. I'm going to be too busy playing with, uh, playing with some of the new ships. I'm picking up... I'm not picking up any of the Bajoran Interceptors yet. But uh, I think I'm going for the cube and the uh, the Vulcan ship. Vulcan mostly for the upgrades, of course, because I don't think I'm going to play it. I never ended up playing the Excelsior, and it's pretty much the same ship. Let's see. That's a good offensive upgrade. Maybe I should do once more under the breach. That'd be a good one. Uh, it works well with Mr. Spock. The only problem is I don't actually own Once More in Under the Breach. Like, that was the one ship I didn't want to get because I thought it all, everything sucked. <laughs> nah, I don't really need that. That else would be a good talent. Something, some good talent. Something for offense, I think. I guess I could go for mobility if I wanted to. Mmm, let's see. There's Once More. <laughs> Klingon honor on a board ship. <laughs> the normal release. Wait, wait. Did somebody did somebody say four Tholian ships? As I keep them all in my little in my little box. I don't know if you can see them all there. There's four hiding in there. I had to go. I had to drive two hours to get to another uh, get to another event so I could have my list of four of them. And even after that, it was like, oh, they're so hard to run. They just die so quickly. I could I have a couple pictures of my my poor my poor poor failures at uh, trying to run a four Tholian ship list with the webs. I definitely need to practice that some more. Hmm. Let's see. Weak will perish isn't. Oh, I. Oh, well, yeah, I could use weak will perish on that. Assimilated access code. Is that going to be any good? Up to three. Nope, I don't have any drones. And this is all the new stuff that I don't have access to yet. Mm. I guess massacre would be a thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and make it a uh, cheat death for now, and we'll come back to that later. If I need to save points somewhere. Uh-oh. I'm hated. No, don't hate me. Don't hate me because the Tholians love me. They're so much fun. Well, they're kind of so much fun. I suppose I suppose everything takes a, takes a quick beating to the board, but... I don't know. I want to just... I got to figure out a good strategy with them. Like, keeping them clumped together... Like, my Tholian list is, uh, what is it? 
I'm using the flagship that lets me get an extra movement out. And then it's really just, you know, my Tholian ships and my energy webs. Just all of those. And then Tholia one with, like, Insha. But it's so hard to keep the things alive. Like, I can I can drop I can if I don't if I don't run into myself, which happens a lot with the uh, the 60 degree turns they make. It's really tough. But uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Problem with alien ship. Such a gimmick, and I want to throw it down on the table. But getting the darn things is tricky. Oh yeah, like this is like another alternate wind conditiony kind of thing. What was I? Oh, I was saying I could. It was I was able to get like 15 webs on the board, but they were all stuck in like this little two inch by six inch area, and I was like, oh my god, how am I gonna hit anybody with this? Like, it's nice that if you shoot each one you shoot across, gives you an extra defense die. But I mean, in order to get closer to your opponent, you're not gonna have webs between the two of you. Thoughts on the counterattack die? I like it, but the problem is I don't know where I'm going to be able to fit it in my builds. Uh, the really big thing about it is, I'm assuming we're assuming that the battle stations get changed into evades. So I mean that's nice on the evading side, but the hits and crits are one of those things that can't be countered against. So in a way they're like minefields, and that is what makes it pretty cool. Like if you have that one cloaked ship attacking you that has only one hull left they'll think it doesn't matter who they're attacking if they're attacking anyone with a defense die you can use it and possibly kill them on the uh kill them in their own attack which makes it another interesting thing if you kill someone with a counter attack die and both of your ships die at the same time who wins hmm oh yeah that would work well with sulu because you'd all you'd be guaranteed at least the one evade I think I feel like I'd rather be rolling the hits though. I mean, it doesn't help Boar, which is a, which is another nice thing is that uh, it indirectly does not benefit Borg. And the fact that you just keep, even if one of your ships dies, you just keep passing it around to whichever one, whatever's still alive. It'll be, uh, I think it'll be pretty useful. It's definitely better than the elite attack die, I think. Not that the elite attack die is bad. There's just so many other better things. I'd probably rank it. Hmm. I'd probably rank it about on par with the uh, the tokens. I like the command tokens. I still don't see, I don't see it replacing my flagship or my reinforcement board anytime soon though. And it is a very pretty yellow color. Repainted all your dice. What color? Like the whole die or what? Oh, you've gotten a couple of the uh, the new sets with the bigger icons and the... I don't even know how to describe them. The sharper edges? Doc V. Doom! Welcome! I should probably refresh this viewer list to see who's actually here again. Just Doc V. Doom. How's it going tonight? Riker with the counterattack die. So... Let's see... The counter attack die can be used at any range, right? I don't actually have the uh, the wording on hand at the moment. And if I try to open up, if I try to open up another Firefox window to look it up, it'll probably try to like massively slow down my machine again. Hmm. So you could, yeah, you could get an attack. You could get a damage off the uh, the counter attack die and up to two damage off of Riker. That'd be pretty neat. What if it counts as an attack? Fall 69, what should you get tomorrow? Uh, if you're Charlie, and I'm pretty sure you're Charlie, I'm gonna say go for the Borg cube, man. The Borg, uh, you, you love the Borg, right? Oh, hey. Let's go take a look and hope this doesn't crash everything. Oh. Oh, wow, that looks really nice. I like it. Oh, and you repainted all the hits and the crits too. Very nice. Of course, now they all look like elite attack dice. 
I love the colors. What did you use? Just regular, just paint, or did you use uh, something else to get inside of them? Because I know, I know someone was posting somewhere that they used crayons, crayon to uh, fill in the uh, fill in the depressed depressed parts of the dice. Here it works pretty well, but I haven't I haven't ended up repainting any of my dice or anything yet. <laughs> I've tried repainting some of my ships. I'm not a very good not a very good painter, but uh It makes them distinct at least. There's my uh I say it's I say it's my Burrell, but it's uh it was actually technically the Cavort, but since they're the same model. I like just making it, you know, kind of kind of dark and purple to, to run along with my other Dominion stuff. Sealed five times. Huh. Acrylic paint. Oh, I've seen these ones. You're the guy who has way too much time on his hands. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking with you. But yeah, those are incredible, man. How long did it take you to do those? <laughs> you should paint red stripes on them too. The red stripes will make them go faster, won't they? Hmm, Tholian Swarm. Take a look at that. The attack die for five. Ship one, ship two. Three, four. So, basic plus energy web, cloaked mines and energy web, generic and energy web. Ew, ransom. No one likes ran. Oh wait, no, we do like ransom, don't we? Ransom. Yeah, Maxwell Burke's the one I'm thinking of. No, ransom's fine. On the on the Pratus. What? Oh, that's not bad. So, three cloaked mines, three things lying energy webs. You got low scheme adding movement to styles, the Ferengi, or Ransom. That's pretty cool. Have you tried it out yet? Or is that just your... Oh, you don't have... You don't have all those ships yet, but... I mean, have you tried proxying yet or no? Takes a while to paint the Federation ships. Yeah, all those... All those little tiny windows. Yeah. Just, just say that it's run by a uh, by a skeleton crew. We only have to roll paint like five of them. That's all the people that there are. <laughs> mm. Let's see. I don't think I really want to trade out the trans war. So we don't run cloaked mines at my venue, so I'm not going to throw that on the queue. Pretty sure that's what we still voted on. So what's another good tech? Give me some tech. Garbage, 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 garbage. Cloaking device. In case you want to have a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, it would be just silly. Tree mm. explosives. Tetriana mission. Navigational deflector. Bioneural circuitry wouldn't be bad. What else we got here? There's always feedback pulse if I want it. Maneuverability would be hilarious, but I can't afford it. Oh, auxiliary control room. That could be another useful thing. I might like that. Let's put that on there for now, because I like I like what it can do. Being able to negate up to like ab about up to two aux tokens per turn is nice since you can't usually get rid of more than one at a time. Painting windows, do them all black and then go back and do them randomly white. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, wow. You use, you use Tholian ships to get more Tholian ships. In a, 
in an already Tholian web. How did that even work? Like, you weren't, your, weren't the webs you were laying down getting eaten up by the bigger web? Or I don't know, which, did, did your uh, did your venue rule that the big energy web tokens counted for the small energy web token damage? I would I would try to push that, but I don't think that I don't think anyone over here would buy that. <laughs> Maximum DP, not a surgeon. Well, if you were a surgeon, you could afford to buy all those things five times over. Anything on Jeff lately? Uh, Jeff's one of our local players. He's actually on vacation in Italy right now, enjoying enjoying some time with the wife. So he's not he's not going to be back for gaming for a couple weeks. All right, so I've got Captain Talents, Tech. Do I need another weapon or another crew? Once the Robin pilot's gone, I'll have space for another crew once I use him. I kind of want to throw another Robin and Pilot on there. That's kind of neat. I can trade out Transwarp for Auxiliary Control after the first round, because that'll be done. I won't need Transwarp again. That means I can get Auxiliary Control after I lose the planet, because Tavek is not going to win the planet. Yep. My good old OC remixes. Those of us that are not getting the board queue, what is the next recommendation for other ships that are coming out tomorrow? Um... I like the Vulcan ship. I mean, I don't really like the Vulcan ship itself, because, like I said, I said earlier, I think it's pretty much, you know, basically the Excelsior, and I never ran the Excelsior. But I know plenty of people who swear by the Excelsior, so it should run pretty well. And the upgrades on it are quite useful, especially like this one I like. I, li I really like Auxiliary Control Room. I, I don't think you'll need new Sensor Grid. I don't think you'll see too many cloaks these days, unless you start banning Borg. But, uh, uh what else we got in here? Tavek is very nice for a low-skill captain. Soval... Eh. What do we got? Murak. Murak, eh. Paul, I like Paul a lot. There's very few things that'll help you modify your defense. Ask Particle Beam is great. Take it. One point. One point! If you use that with, uh, with, uh, what's her name? Soval or Sakona, that costs negative one point. You get points back. I don't think you can actually get points back, but it would be fun to try to argue it. Mmm, the Bajoran one. The Bajoran one is neat, but I feel like if you want to run it, you need three of them. Maybe four. Probably three. Like, that's more of a, a gimmick ship. Like, you want you want the Bajoran, you want three or four Bajoran interceptors, and then you want a flagship that boosts attack and uh, Cyrano Jones, so that you can spread out some tribbles. Since they have no shields, you can beam tribbles onto them anytime you want, and it's really fun. Web didn't get destroyed by the web. You lay, but only once you lay, counts for damage. Fair enough. Vulcan ship needs a repaint. OSL? <laughs> ah, let's see, where was I going? Oh, crewmen. Crewmen or weapons? Crewmen or weapons? Crewmen... I didn't really care about Flora Flora. Give me some crew. Give me some good crew. That's some expensive crew. I've got five points to spend. What else can I get besides Mr. Spock? It'd be nice if I could use. Be nice if I could use Scotty and Regenerate in the same turn. Recover two health on the board at a time. But I'm looking to blow things up, so. Anything offensive roll? Spot, boarding party, Ometiclon. I may only be purchased for a jump dark ship. Yeah, don't worry. Romulan officer doesn't help. 
Cloaked, Tuvok, eh. Kazon, Raiding Party, Mila. Uh, hmm. I'd like the, uh, the what's it called? I already forgot what they're called. The Tribbles, but I mean I'd have to switch out one of these two guys. Object Source Lighting. That sounds cool, I still don't know what that is though. I feel like I should know this from my days in theater, but... Jack and the I don't really need because I've got Mr. Spock. Although I suppose instead of Mr. Spock, I could use. Hmm. I could use Drex or Nagarin. That would drop me down more points. I don't really have any way to spend those points though. Do, 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 do. Something that's not an action. Continuous, Jordy, Joachim, or Seskel. Game plus two attack dice. Might not be terrible. Let's put him on there for now. Oh no, he's the uh, he one of the blind ones. Dang it. Bring one past a blue girl like on the show and mimic that one make it look nice. Yeah. That sounds cool. And I'm sure you'll do it and post pictures and make us all jealous. Hmm. Tactical officer? Do I need any gankers for this build? I don't have any gankers. Is that going to be a problem? I don't think so. Borg Missile actually is good against anti-ganking. And in the arena, I don't think a lot of people are going to be going for the... The conditional surrender builds. So I don't think I have to worry about that. That is a long link. I don't think that is actually going to fit. I think it's going to take me to the wrong spot. Eh. Let's see if I can do that. And that's just done with uh, different paint schemes, just the white, the bright, the blue, and then overcoating it with white and stuff. Because that's not actually lighting. That's not actually a lighting effect. That's just how you did it with the paint. That's cool. I feel like I've seen someone do that with the uh, the Millennium Falcon in X-Wing. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't use Tierna. Dimitri's fine. Let's go, uh... I really wish I could get two attacks out of this, but... The tech, the cube has a 360 arc, so it can't not... It cannot use the Fernie Missile Launchers. It makes me sad. Regards me to upgrade your choice. I don't feel I need that. I feel like I should just take Bogika, because Bogika always works, and he's great. or something I want to steal. I want to steal something with Marlon? Oh. Oh, let me throw 7 of 9 on here. The Federation 7 of 9. I mean, that would help against the, uh, the transwarp or any, any weird kind of tech shenanigans going on. Massive head. Ah, I gotcha. So you kind of, so you kind of uh, signify this is this thing's presence by how much reflection it gives off of everything nearby it. That's kind of cool. It's way more, way more painting experience than I've ever had. So let's see. I do like that Tholian swarm though. Now that I'm getting back to it, but I'm not. Again, I just my problem with the Tholians is you know in the wide open areas of other other gaming fields like they still get outnumbered by the board but I guess I guess the point is who doesn't get 
outmaneuvered by the Borg. I have to see how they throw because I haven't had a chance to test Tholian ships against regular ships, you know? And that makes me sad. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try some of that Nick, tomorrow when we're playing. Hey, we're at 495. We're just chatting it up, doing some doing some strategy. I was working on building up a uh, a one cube build for an arena tournament in a few weeks, and this is kind of what I came up with so far. Uh, we've also been talking about some you know just some other things, painting, some cool paint jobs, and. Uh, some Tholian, Tholian ships. What else is on? The, what else is in here? Advice on what to buy tomorrow for the uh, for the new things. You, why is it green? What? Something in sculpting armor. So is that going to be what the? Uh, are you going to try making like the ablative plating? actually on it, or what are you trying with that? I'll save this one. Maybe come back to it in a second. Giga Cube. So yeah, the point of this build would be the tactical cube between Transwarp and Romulan Pilot can take can take care of almost the entire board at range three. Tavek, of course, loses the planet, but after that, I mean, you only have one ship, so they have to come and kill you anyway. And you just you just basically unload on them as much as you can with the cube. I mean, you've got 20 hit points total. You still got your six attack dice plus Spock. Plus, after the battle, you'll have the card. I probably want to throw some more attacking things in here somewhere, but I guess we'll come back to that later. Wave five is arriving tomorrow, Ren. Well, it's arriving tomorrow for me anyway, because I work. I don't. I don't work at Cool Stuff, but I play over at Cool Stuff, one of the big, uh, one of the big internet distributors. What are the length of the long Tholian bits, if you know offhand? They are exactly range uh, movement template two. So, eight centimeters long for, uh, if you're talking, you're talking about the prize ones, right? That's these ones. They are eight centimeters long, which is exactly two base lengths. So, like, or two base widths, I guess. the blade of plating. More detailed than one would think. The vented covers over the phaser else. Man, you are really taking that all the way. That's gonna look impressive. Does transport work on Borg if it's left or right? No, the uh, those are, since those are technically not straight maneuvers, they are spin maneuvers. So, I mean, it can go forward six, but it would not be able to go to the side six, which is disappointing, but, I mean, that would be really... <laughs> That would be even more crazy, as if the Borg needed needed that extra added mobility from that. But, uh, yeah, going six forward and two forward um, on a normal ship would be ten bases off of your off of your line, but with the large base ship, it's twelve bases. So that actually means you get a shot all the way to the other edge of the board. In the kits, I believe we counted them out at eight inches. Uh, so yeah, this is this is from one of the kits, and uh, that's a good eight inches around here. Probably shouldn't ask that out loud, but uh, I mean that's my ruler, so that's six inches plus. Another two, yeah, eight inches. Eight inches for the uh, long webs and three, like three and three quarters for the guides. Yep, Sharpie. <laughs> you saw that one too. Welcome, Math Guy six one eight nine. Welcome to the conversation. 
And also welcome Troy T D B. Nice to see you. Nice to see you in the chat room as well. And Nico Levoldikif. I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to be pronouncing these, but uh but I am, because it's fun. <laughs> but yeah, that one those ones were with the uh the uh ye neon yellow sharpie. Which I didn't actually have a regular yellow sharpie. I don't know if you can actually see a little bit of the difference. This one is neon yellow, and this one is regular yellow. And I like the regular yellow one a little bit more. But, uh, I mean, if you take a really close up look at it, you can see something like the streak marks from the marker. I'm glad you're going to learn a lot, math guy. That's what I'm hope. That's what I always hope for. It's like. Because I've seen a lot of people, you know, kind of get frustrated around the tournaments. They're like, I don't know how to beat this. Or just trying the same things over and over again. And, you know, some people have fun that way. But I want to I wanna give people as good a chance of winning as anything. Oh, wow, you are welcome, Troy TDV. How are you doing today? We're just talking about some, some build orders and uh, some other people that have really great painting skills, but not me. Darn you, maximum DT. <laughs> Ew. Secret to paint here. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, before the uh, before the uh, kits came out, uh, I had to make my own. I had to make my own set just so we would have some some idea of what we're practicing with. So, what I always use is actually just like the crafting foam sheets that are like 50 cents from Michael's or something. I mean, those are actually those are actually pretty good for anything you want. And uh, you can stiffen those up with a little bit of uh, lacquer, I think, or something like... It was something I learned from some of my cosplaying friends, like the uh, that crafting foam kit you can harden up with something and it really does, a, really does a good job. So almost as good as wood. Ah, nice to be off work. Uh, this is just, uh, open office. Twitch just crashed in Chrome. No! Uh, I'm using open office, but this is also the, uh, if you're looking for the file, I mean, this is the, uh, the card spoiler. If you look in the file section of BGG. Uh, this is my most recently updated version. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I should have it up, you know, tomorrow night after I get my, uh, Wave 3 stuff just to, uh, just to confirm some of the extra things. I just finished putting in all the uh, all the uh, the blind the blind ships from from Terry's videos. So, like, I've got all the upgrades here and all the ships. I'll probably throw in the uh, the new prize one. What was it? The Vulcan Nevar. Probably get that stuff in there too. Oh no! Don't. Oh wait, I'm still going, right? Was it Twitch? Did everything die? Am I alive? I don't know if I'm alive or not. You people keep talking to me. Alright, so that's another thing. I want to try something not Borg. I'm still streaming. Hasn't given me any kind of uh, error messages yet. Yay, it's good to be seen. I'm not cloaked. A little choppy? Hmm. Not dropping any frames. This doesn't look like it. But that's probably that must be on Twitch's end then, because usually if I'm dropping frames on my end, it actually tells me. Yeah, that's gotta it's gotta be. I mean we're talking it's what time is it over on the West Coast? It's like seven o'clock on the West Coast, that's prime time and they're doing they're doing all their E three coverage. They probably have like hundred thousand people actually watching that or more. That's probably that's probably what's happening to, to poor Twitch getting nuked. I expected something kind of like that though. It's kind of a busy week. Didn't have time. Didn't have time to. Uh, I didn't have time to figure out a full state of the Federation episode. So I figured, you know, at least I can talk to. Uh, at least I can talk to you guys for a little while. If you had any questions or wanted any suggestions on builds or whatnot. Uh. Collective OP1 prizes. Yes, ran 495. The uh we were just talking about the counterattack guy a little earlier. It was uh 
And I do like it. I don't know if you're here for that. You think so? I really like the flagship, though. The, uh... The, uh, the extra slots and a free action every turn is, is really nice, but... The, uh... I, I would place it just for my, for my personal use. I would place it a little bit below the flagship, but I would definitely place it, you know, right on par or maybe a little bit above the command tokens. Because those are my favorite ones. I never really particularly cared for the fighters, but I, mean, I guess they're really good too. I guess it depends on how many points you really want to spend on your resource. I'm re what I'm really looking forward to is the... Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to the month three participation, which is the... Uh, the officer cards. Oh no, actually month two also has the ca fleet captain too. Man, I'm looking forward to all the uh, to all the resources that they're coming out with. The counterattack die, I didn't think I was going to like, but after having a look at it, you know, again, it has no blank sides, so you'll always get something with if you have a battle station, so... I don't know, I'm pretty, I, I like it. I think it's better than the elite attack die. Well, hey, Maximum DT, thanks for joining us. Enjoy, have a good night. What should I try next? And we gotta... Someone give me some restrictions for a build. <laughs> I wanna see, I wanna try something fun, but I've got too many things I can choose from. Man, I, oh, I just keep looking at all these blind ships and I just want them all. All of them would make such a good swarm. Like the one thing I've been really waiting for is a 20, 22 point ship with a tech slot. I could almost run four of those with interface generators and that would be incredible. I mean the same with the Romulan Starship. I mean you could get a lot out of that but it's still I mean it's it's bad point is the low low attack value. No Borg, each ship faction pure. And I was figuring that as much. I was trying to get away from Borg for the moment. Let's see. Purposely run into each other too often for the free action to be much use. Aw. Nikolai, you can do it. You just gotta figure out the uh all the uh, little uh the little tricks for for maneuvering. Like, I don't know if, let me see, where did I put some of my bases? I don't know I don't know if it'll help you, but I'll go over it. I'll go over it just a little bit, but I mean the first I mean the easiest one I can think of is, you know, if you have your ships in a formation, make sure it's an offset formation just a little bit. That way, because if you do this and you turn 45 degrees, they overlap, so you're gonna bump. So if you have it like in a little bit of, in a little bit just offset or just uh, in kind of a pinwheel formation, they're fine. They're fine and happy and dandy, whichever whichever 45 degree way they point. Uh, let's see. The other thing is every base length is one distance, so I mean you can you can kind of judge straights pretty easily with that, but it'd be pretty cool. Let's see, see more State of the Federation or State of the Borg in the future. <laughs> oh, it might be State of the Borg, if the Borg still keep dominating everything around here. I know some people haven't had been having problems with the Borg, but around here they've just been winning over and over and over again. Rand, you think swarms for the collective OPs? I don't know, I'd have to see. Like all we've had so far is only rumors of the, uh, the rules. Unless, unless someone's posted new rules for them in the uh, last minute or two. So, let's see if I can find it real quick. Take a quick look. Star Trek Attack Wing, The Collective. Nah, still coming soon. Aw oh, man, I mean it's less than a month away you now, guys. I, wanna, I need to know what I'm preparing for. That just makes me sad. I know there was some rumor that it was going to be possibly uh, like a co-op kind of point race somehow. I don't know. Like there was someone was speculating that the first event would be a would be you and your you and your opponent both fighting the same board cube or something like that. I have, I, have, I make I make no promises to that because I have no idea. But uh, I don't know. You know something I don't. I still think it's really hard to get an effective swarm in, but I think these blind ships are definitely going to help thanks to the low point costs. Oh, wait, we're going to be doing a, 
Now that you, since you said that, now I just realized, you know, we're doing 90 points plus a 30 point ship, so you're automatically going to have that second or third ship. You can do three ships at 90 points. Yeah, that would still be a, that would be, a, that would technically be like a four ship swarm. Like, I could run four, three Katingas with Interface Generator, and then still have my third 30 point ship. <laughs> Zero straight, point five banks, few other. Oh, I see how what you're talking about, Nikolai. I've done I've done that once or twice too, just to uh, to keep the proper range that you want. But I really like actions. The music the music is coming from my Winamp. I still use Winamp, yes. Uh, one through two thousand two thousand four hundred of the OC remixes. This one right here that's playing right now is Black Guitar, Final Fantasy, Fierce, Fairground, something. Man, that's a long name. Fierce, Fairground, Fight, OC Remix. The giant board cube coming in November. Oh, man. Um, is it going to move? Like, the only other gigantic thing we've had so far is DS9, and that doesn't move. But, I mean, you'd have to assume it does. I wonder if they're going to run it kind of like how the, uh... I don't know how many people in here play X-Wing, but... Like, the big, the new big, uh, Rebel Transport and the Tantive 4? 5? Tantive something? But it, uh... Like, it has a separate set of maneuver templates, so that instead of, like, putting one forward, lifting it up and going farther forward, like... You put, you find where the template stops, like you would do something like this, and then you would only go up like this far instead of like going up, but like going up to the other side of it. So, like if with, for an eight inch cube, I feel like they would have to do that if it's going to move, but like I can't see that being legal in no cube play. It's it's just so gigantic. Like, I mean, that's how big the board cube is supposed to be. The board cube is supposed to be, like, bigger than DS9. Like, because DS9 is supposed to be, like, I don't remember, like, 1,800 meters or something, and the cube is supposed to be 3,000. Which is kind of, so it's kind of funny when you see something like the Enterprise, which is supposed to be, like, 1,200 meters, and it's this big compared to, compa this big compared to the, the, the big token. A big board token? I can see that. DS9 retail having new stats. I don't even know how that's going to work. Like, if you look at the solicit again, the, sol the solicit itself even says it only comes with two ship cards. So there's not that many options for what you can do with it. Like, maybe it's going to have, like, a ginormously huge number of, you know, shield shield and hull, like instead of 8 and 8, be like 20 and 20. I don't know. We were thinking of doing a DS9 event at a convention down here, and instead of just having it be 8 hull, 8 shields, uh, having each individual pylon uh, have its own hull and shield value, and then the main station have the hull and shield value. So then it becomes basically like a... Uh, a 32, 32, but you can destroy pieces of it so they're not shooting back at you. Like, I thought that was me. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has seen it yet. Finally got my... Look, are you seeing double? That is, uh, two, two DS9s now. Along with my 2014 X-Wing Store Championship. I swear I wasn't cheating that much on, on, uh, on, uh, Attack Wing, but... You know, sometimes you just sometimes you just need a little bit of a different one. Is that gonna go back up there? Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it coming with any. I don't see the big giant ones coming with any any crew stats. Just like this, just like because just like since this one didn't come with any crew or upgrades, and I'm really glad for that too. Okay, I am still though. I am kind of nervous though about Assimilation Target Prime, which is the uh, the grand prize for the collective event. So it's just going to be a small ship. What is this? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, 
what is it? Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, assimilation target prime. Well, besides the uh, besides the uh, paint job, oh, you're talking about DS9, but the uh, the Enterprise D, which should be you know same size as basic ships. I mean, is that going to come with upgrades? Like, I'd hate to for like a grand prize to have like great upgrades that people are going to want to play with, because that's going to be even hard. I mean, in theory, that'll be even harder to get a hold of than, like, Gen Con, and Gen Con is still going. I had an, I ended up having an extra one, and it, it went for, like, $150 on eBay. So I don't, I really don't want to see, I really would rather not see even just the small grand prize shit being, like, $150 or $200 on eBay also. Like, I don't want to spend that much money on these things. Like, not that I think I would need to buy one, but, uh... I feel bad that people don't have, you know, as wide a range of stuff as I have access to. It's like I even like I talk to some of my guys that have some of the uh, some more ships that I don't, and I'd be like, you know, instead of buying three Excelsiors, hey man, can I borrow a couple of your Positron beams? You know, I try to, we try to share around so that we're not a, uh, so no one is, so if someone has something they really want to try running, that they can actually run it with, with all the stuff we have combined. TO for the X-Wing Store Championship? Ah, Poor math guy. Do you play though, or are you just an organizer? Ooh, Gen Con from the auction. Not bad. <laughs> $70 you say is lucky, but I was like, well, I got mine technically for free. But, uh, man, he's just so useful. Like, I've been using him... I didn't know if I was going to use him at first when I first got him, but he's been so useful lately. I actually, I actually didn't get him from Gen Con. I actually won him from the, uh, from the Kobayashi Maru contest that they they were holding back in like October, November last year. We got the, uh, me and one of the guys at my store got the runner-up prize, or me and two of the guys at my store. So all our runner-up prizes were a copy of Gen Con and uh, and a Creighton. Oh yeah, I've been, I've done the Jack Vassal uh, Foundation stuff before. Tom Vassal's a pretty neat guy. Now, if only he would give us more, give us more spoilers. More spoilers, faster. You know you want to sell us those ships you got ahead of time. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the same thing for me. I like, I, I like X-Wing. I'll still play it some more, but I'm trying not to invest any more money in it. But I know some guys that play it, so I like to play with them as well. So what were my restrictions on this, now that I'm thinking about it again? No Borg, each ship faction pure. Mmm, I need more than that. Maybe I should go for... Let me try... I'm gonna go for a 90-30 build. So, I'm gonna have 90 points to work with. Area W groups, 4 to 6 people. That's not bad. Our attack wing groups have been... have been fluctuating. Uh, sometimes, like, some tournaments, like, one tournament a month will get, uh, like, 10 or 12 people in it. And that's pretty cool, but we have like six or eight, six to eight regulars among three venues, though. So like we'll have eight people at our at the cool stuff venue, but like at the other two we'll have like two to five, which is mm, it's unfortunate. I go to I go to all of them though, so maybe people just hate me and are trying to avoid me. Ah, he's playing. Why do we want to play against that guy? We're just gonna lose anyway. I feel bad sometimes. Man, I really want to use all the new ships. I always love playing with the new stuff. Let's see. Well, let's erase the 30, because that's going to be a random ship anyway. Let's say this is for... I mean, not even a collective, but let's just say it's for a regular battle. Straight up, straight up combat. Should I build this to try and fight Borg? Or should I play this assuming that no one else is playing Borg here? Central Valley, California? Really? Oh, Central Valley. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, I was, I was actually kind of running the events around here for like the first three months or so. And then one of the other one of the guys that actually worked at the store started getting interested, so he started he started picking up the events for the uh, prize ship cake. But I mean, we have enough people that the store usually justifies buying two event kits, 
so we pass out like four ships at the events for our people. So it's, it's really quite generous. I like them a lot. The Philippines! Are you, a, are you a fellow Filipino? Only two stores run OPs as well, so every player usually plays. That's pretty cool. It's always nice to get uh, more uh, more prizes out there. More people having stuff. Apparently, there's still the... Uh, like, apparently you can still buy the older event kits. Because that's what cool stuff has been doing. Because we're going to be running some, we're going to be rerunning OP2 and OP5 at over a convention weekend on July 4th weekend. And uh, yeah, apparently they could still get them. So I mean, I, I guess it wouldn't be too if if you if your store really wanted to. I guess it wouldn't be too uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Too un unreasonable to have to get like two kits and have two events a month. Like per store, so you could have like four of them, and then everyone would be happy. That'd be cool. Alright. I still want to play against you with my anti board build. Maybe tomorrow? Doc Me Doom, sure! I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but that'd be kind of cool. Is this, uh, Nick? Austin? Maybe. One of you guys. Going up against my, did you want to fight the uh, the regular anti board build or uh, just whatever board I happen to have? Let's see. You know, let's try this for uh, anti board combat. See if see if Voyager can do anything. We got Voyager. I'm gonna run. Oh, Alex! I know you. So you're running an anti-board. Are you running an anti-board anti build with Borg or without Borg? Because yeah, I'll, def I'll definitely be there to play. I'm always there to play. You're going for the cube. Gotcha. That cube is going to be kind of fun. I'm not sure if my old, uh, if my old anti-board build is going to cut it against that. Because uh, one of the guys, that one of the guys actually built a a single sphere build straight up to beat me, or just to beat that list. And I think if you had access to the cube, it would be even worse. No board. Whiskit says you have to sell around 18 real sales ships to get the LP kits. Well, I guess that makes sense. That's not. I guess that's one of the good benefits of uh, going, playing at a store that's one of the world's largest online retailers. That they can pretty much buy whatever they want. So let's see. What would I do? What would I do for a Voyager build? against Borg. Well, I need... What am I going to need? Let me actually put it down. I'm going to need some form of movement to make sure I get in range right. I want to shoot first. And I want to shoot a lot. Mm. So, what am I going to do here? Should I go for double transphasics? Should I even worry about... I don't really want to go double transphasics. So many points. I would end up making it like a one ship build. I'm not really fond of one ship builds. Uh, first things first, Picard goes on it because Picard goes on everything. Mm, I could use preemptive strike if we're gonna if we're gonna count the uh, the blind ships. Transphasic. Yeah, we'll do one transphasic, and hmm, like I really want to try out uh, what's her name, Sakona. I think Sakona would work great with like the uh, the secondary torpedoes. I don't know. Discarding my only torpedoes seems like a bad idea. I kind of want to go... Hmm. I kind of feel like I want to go Quantums. We're going to put Quantums in here for now, and I'm going to reserve the right to change my mind again later. Oh no, Quantums don't work with Sakona. She only does five, and those cost six. Well, that's dumb. Any other better weapons? I 
really gonna have to go with Transphasics? Yeah, Feedback Pulse is always such a pain. Like, I'm planning on getting our... Yeah, let me, let me also put Denial in there. So I'm gonna have to run, uh... My second ship is definitely gonna be running, uh... Miles O'Brien to disable something like that. I really... I love Borg Missile so much, I really wish it worked on something other than Borg, because it's a great anti-Borg card. Mm. Can't put Energy Web on it. Charges doesn't work, doesn't help me. Like, I really want to throw. <laughs> I really want to throw Sakona and Balana on this thing so I can just have four weapon slots. Quantum and Lojure. It's always Chekhov. I'm not sure I really need Chekhov. But I'll keep him in mind. Quantum and Loger is not bad. I could try. I could try running something, uh, something fancy with uh, with the Doctor. Use him in the tech slot, and then get a lot of crew to disable. If I'm going for multiple attacks with the secondary torpedoes, let's say I'm going to use secondary torpedoes right now. So, how much your secondary torpedoes? You came with OP4 prize? Yes, you did. So that's four points. Uh, Scarred, forward to fire another torpedo enemy ship in your forward fire round, so they can't be fired out the rear, which is sad. So I'm only going to need one of those. And I kind of want to throw. I want to throw Cyrano Jones on here because that's going to be free attack right there. Free attack bonus is what I'm going to say. Because that's, that adds plus one to both of these attacks. Mm. Could I use. Would it be logical? If I used. Man, I really want to use these things. Like, Preemptive Strike, I think, would be great. I think Preemptive Strike is going to go well with this build, so I'm going to put it on here anyway, even though it's not quite released yet. It's something that we will have access to eventually. Unless you think I should, unless you think I should, guys think I should not use it yet. Blind Booster, do you build it with your 90 points or does it stand on its own? Uh, Ran, it stands on its own. You get 90 point, you, you bring a 90 point build and they give you a Blind Booster that you build 30 points out of. At least that that's my understanding of it. So they'll give you you know, the 20 point ship, and then a couple, you know, uh, what is it, four point, four point captains, two point upgrades, four point upgrades, and you, you just pick and decide which ones you want. So it'll be like, uh, I want the named Dominion ship for 22 with Goldemar 26, and then either these two sets of two or just like Sesco for four. But yeah, you don't get to mix and match anything with your blind 30 points, is how I'm reading it. But after you already get one, I'm assuming you can use it as a regular ship in the next tournament. If you'd be like, oh, well, I already picked up a, uh, a Saber class, and then maybe you get another Saber class as your blind ship. I don't know. So let's see. Quantum, secondaries. How many crew slots do I have to work with on Voyager? Voyager. Oh, only one weapon slot. Three crew slots. So I need to get her an extra weapon slot. That's unfortunate. Do I want to put... Do I want to put the flagship on this or on something else? I think I want to put the flagship on this. <sighs> it's not going to benefit from extra thing there, though. What kind of flagship? Do I want to? Do I want a flagship at all? Uh, what would be a good flagship for this one? The Klingon one, free scan. Kind of like the Romulan one, free battle stations. 
Gives me a weapon and a crew as well. I really want a weapon and a talent. And that's this one, and that doesn't help me that much. We plan to have blind boosters for each OP of the collective. Skip preemptive, so this works for OP1. Alright. So let's get preemptive. Um, from what I understand, uh, the first three month collective pack and the second three month, uh, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is, the Delta Quadrant part, the, it's going to be the same five blind boosters for the three month set. So after the, co the collective will, is all going to be, you know, these five ships, the, uh, the Jaeger through the Maquis. And then come the second uh, three-month event, I believe they'll have a new set of five ships. I have not had that confirmed yet, though. The Dominion one, since you don't really need the extra attack. For... Uh, what about the Dominion one? Dominion one for what? Oh, the Dominion flagship. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Because it does have the slots I want. I was trying to think. I really like. I really love this movement ability. But am I going to have a ship that can really take advantage of it? We'll put it on there for now. Flagship. Indie Dominion. I really need some way to move with this ship too, though, so I can alter my uh, alter my positioning. So I'm going to throw Incha on it. Do I need Picard on it, though? So I'm kind of going to want to use that as a free action. Well, I'll get a target. The free target lock is what I'm going to need to fire off my torpedoes. Picard is going to help me actually hit with them. So... Should I use Spock here or Bohica? kind of want to use Bohica. I really like Bohica. Let's go Bohica, because Bohica is always good. And what else do I have? I, I've got a spare talent slot, so I actually saw this one work fairly well before, and that is that that little participation prize, Red Alert. That way, I can if I want if I really need to, I can spend battle stations on the first torpedo shot and still have it for the second torpedo shot. And then even after that, I would still have it on defense. So that's not a terrible one. So right now I'm rolling six dice plus one and three dice plus one. Or, well, that's six dice plus one damage. That's four dice. So that's, I'm looking at 10 dice plus one damage, assuming that everything hits. It's really not that much damage, is it? Is there anything else that can help me with each shot? I know someone was using anti-proton uh, anti scan to get some bonus attacks, some bonus hits in. Or some bonus dice. Oh, faction pure independent. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Keeping me honest. Uh, engage is so hard to use though. But it is alright. If I do that. I wonder no. I had the I had this strange idea just all of a sudden to run a Voyager and an Intrepid, but the Intrepid still can't use another set of Transphasics. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade these Quantums to the Transphasics for the first shot. Hmm, Scotty, it's two more dice. It's not terrible, but. Hmm. We'll throw engage on here because movement is good. Transphasic, secondary, Cyrano Jones. Isn't there something else that adds more damage? Spock and Scotty on the Excelsior. That's not too bad. Let me look at some offensive. Crewman. What do I want to what do I want to have here? Uh Nevek and one die. Joaquin. Active officer is no good for me. Green A is a possibility. 
Romulan officer. That would be cool if I was actually cloaked. Kudak, Etan, Tuvok, Kazan. You may disable Tuvok to roll one extra die. I wonder if I could outlast them. If I want to try to outlast instead of try to one-shot it. Because I don't think... I mean, this... I mean, as far, I'm going as far as I can into the damage, and I'm still not going to be able to one-shot it reliably at all. Yeah, two bucks definitely not worth the points. I feel, I feel dirty every time I consider it. So, I'm going to try this a different tack. I'm going to go with quantum torpedoes for the first shot. And then I'm going to hopefully quantum him every other turn after that. And then... Cyrano Jones for the... for the extra... Die. he's only three dice on an independent ship. Bohika is not faction pure, which makes me sad. However, uh, Dimitri? Do I want Dimitri? Or should I just go for Spock? I should just go for Spock. There's five points there. And what I could do is... I really hate to throw Bawana on here. How many points am I at right now? 30 Voyager, 10 Flagship, Picard, Engage, Red Alert, Quantums, Secondary, Cyrano, Spock. 69 points. And I don't have anything... Well, I don't need to worry too much about the... What's it called? The attack negating one. Since I'm not using the transphasics anymore. I'm thinking Sulu. Because Sulu is awesome. Sulu is three. So I'm looking at five defense dice with one of those. Spock, Cyrano Jones. Six defense dice with Cyrano Jones, which is pretty good. And I've got some ability to modify it. I'll get a free target lock, a free action from Picard, and Sulu. Picard's action will probably be to scan, but then I wouldn't be able to use Red Alert. Hmm. That's a tough one. And when I'm rearming the Quantums, I won't be able to use Sulu. But that's okay. Yeah, Sutherland is eh. Although, if I'm using the Sutherland and I'm at range three, I get the free reroll off of them. Yes, I, I have three crew slots. Voyager, Voyager has three crew, one tech, and one weapon naturally. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like that's the only way you can even get that with a lot of act is by using a lot of actions. You think so? I'm wondering if I need him at all. Because I mean, having a battle station is almost as good as as having Spock. And the only reason I would need Spock is for my first attack with both of the torpedoes. I kind of want to... Well, what I really want to do is throw uh, Shelby on here. But, uh... I might just have to suffice with maybe Tom Paris. I think a Tom Paris would be pretty good. Because now I'm looking at seven defense dice. And how many times have you seen someone seven defense dice without cloak? So let's see, what am I at now? I already forgot what number I was at. So 40 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus... Four plus three. That's 71. I need a secondary ship because I do. I'm going to throw in the Reliant because I love the Reliant. It's got good damage for its cost. I'm going to put Miles O'Brien on there because I need a negator of some sort, I think. Do I think I need Miles O'Brien or do I want to focus everything in the Voyager? I feel like focusing everything in the Voyager is a bad idea.
Hmm. We'll go with this for now. Because that would put me... Oh no, 71 points. That already puts me over. I can't have 20 points. Alright, so I guess I'm focusing everything on Voyager. Which means I can throw... Man, I wish I had another crew slot now. Kind of want to change my flagship. Kind of want a fourth crew slot. What gives a crew and a weapon? Crew and weapon. Weapon and crew is the Romulan one. That's not too bad. Um, you technically can use a cloak on Voyager, but for this exercise we are not because I was challenged to do a faction pure shift. <laughs> So, let's see here. If I change this to the Romulan one, then I'm getting a free battle station, which I love battle stations, because I don't need a target lock every turn if I don't fire the quantum torpedoes every turn. So let's do that. Let me take my extra one as Milana. And that lets me actually get another set of secondary torpedoes. Do I going to need another set of secondary torpedoes? I kind of want to. Hmm. Throw in a generic D7 or a Romulan BOP. Yeah, I mean, I could throw in the Praetis with a couple cloaked mines. That would always, that's always a good sub-ship. Oh, yeah, there is the Defiant Cloak. Hmm. That would be kind of silly. I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot, actually. 11 defense dice. <laughs> I'd have... Man. That'd be tough to run with, though. But if I take... If I have that many defense dice, I'm not too worried about getting hit by that. Hmm... Antimatter mines. Antimatter matter, matter mines would help against cloaked vessels, but not so much against Borg. I guess I should consider other things besides just the Borg. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, that was the problem. Well, because I was considering Balana, I was thinking I might have three slots. But if I don't go Balana, I can go. If I use the Defiant Cloak. Because being able to... Voyager's, def, Voyager's movement dial isn't actually that good. It's kind of bad. Uh, I wish there was some way I could have double. <laughs> can't believe I'm almost considering Captain Janeway just so I can get two battle stations tokens every turn. No, that's a terrible idea. Can you trade two secondary torpedoes, Ran? Um... You can on different attacks, but since they're, they say you make a second attack with this weapon, you can only use them after a another torpedo once. So I could do quantum secondary, but I couldn't do quantum secondary secondary. However, since they're discarded, I'd have one left over if I got another double shot. Mm, excuse me, in there somehow. Hmm... So, let's see, Cyrano Jones, Tom Paris, Sulu, mm, 7 of 9? Let me do another quick math check. Uh, 48, 57. I'm at 77 points with this right now, and I have a crew slot to fill. Hmm... And I, can, and I can still upgrade this talent if I want. Mmm, <laughs> tertiary torpedoes. That would do even less damage. Mmm. No, see, cause I, man. I really don't like secondary torpedoes that much. And at least until we get, at least until we get Sakona, and then Sakona makes them useful. Sakona's gonna be really nice. Is 
this battling organs. Nope. Next one. Ooh, Mega Man X music. I love Mega Man music. If you were to pick a different fed ship for this build, what would you use? I would use the Reliant. I love the Reliant more than anything, I think. But is there anything else that would actually be better? Let's take a look. So I guess if we're not using Voy we're not using the Transphasic, so we technically don't need Voyager. Mm, one of my choices here. No, Reliant. Reliant's a good one. Q Space Titus does count. The Defiance? Mmm. So he's so fragile though, that three haul. How to use Voyager on ten dice well? I don't know, what are you asking me about now? I didn't quite understand that question. Equinox. No. I mean, really, the Voyager is the best one to do it. It's it's beefy-ish for the most part, and it's got it's got the tech slot. Yeah, lacking the tech slot hurts a lot. Like I could kind of see myself going to fine with that, but then you're really you're you're really uh. Rolling, rolling the dice on that one because of, because of the such low haul. Like you'd have four haul from the flagship. No, you wouldn't even have from the Romulan flagship. It'd still be just three haul. Nah, I think I have to stick with Voyager. Reliant would be. Uh, it'd be nice if it had the aft aft shot. The aft shot could be helpful. So let's keep going with what we have here. Picard, Red Alert, Cloak, Quantum, Secondary, Cyrano, Tom, Sulu. Isn't there something that you can dis disable instead of attack? Is that, the, is that one of the doctors? I think that's the emergency medical hologram. Would that be a useful thing here? I don't... I'm not entirely sure. Let's get rid of this. Let's go all fed. And let's go all rolls. Transwarp doesn't really help me here. We've got a weapon in her crew slot. What crew did I want to put on here? <laughs> Is there anything else I could throw on here for defense? Janus Rand? I could just throw Miles O'Brien on here right away. I could use... Man, I hate Jadzia Dax. But she could be useful to getting out of situations when I'm facing the wrong way. Let's go this one. Kyle, Data. I could go for Kyle. I'm not really using my shield if I'm using the cloak. But it would make sure that I never lose my cloak entirely. Let's see. I don't. Oh no! I already have the cloak for motion. I'm gonna go ahead and throw Bolana here. That's gonna bring me up to 75. And I still have 15 points left. So I could now, in theory, take the 10-point transphasics and still have the backup, the quantum backup. And I still have five points for a tech upgrade. How many tech do I have here? Positron, do do, do high energy sensor suite. Huh. Reflector, bio neural circuitry. I will take bio neural circuitry because when you're rolling 11 defense dice, it always helps to have a reroll. I feel like this is just kind of a mishmash, but what do I have now? So, Voyager, Flagship, Picard, Red Alert, Cloak, Bio Neural, Transphasic, Quantum, Secondary, Cyrano. Paris, Sulu, Bolana. Man, how did I go over that far? Must be those damn transphasics. 
Alright. Away with the transphasics again. That'll put us down back down to 86 points. 40. And I really need red alert. Mm -hmm. Tough one. I wish there was some way that I could repair hull damage to the ship. It doesn't get regenerate. That'd be nice. Secondary torpedoes again. <laughs> Am I really going back to that? Is there any other weapons for four points on feds that are worth anything? And well, the thing with Bio Neural is that you don't use it on a good roll, you use it on an absolutely terrible roll. When you hit that 11, attack, 11 defense dice and you get zero evades or one evade. Like, you gotta, you have to, don't, don't worry if it's like two evades. Like, you have to be, you have to be willing to accept like two or three evades. Or else you could potentially, you know, roll yourself into a bigger hole. But I feel that for this, like, it could also work with the quantum torpedoes, which isn't too bad. Because it is possible that you roll completely terrible on just a roll. Give me weapons. Give me four cost weapons. Now all I got is the secondary torpedo launcher. That's all I get. Unless I want to go for the weaker photon torpedoes, but those come out in the blind pack. So let's try another secondary torpedo launcher. Do they even do anything extra special? No, they just fire with three dice. That's unfortunate. That's what I was thinking, math guy. Yeah, blanks suck, but uh, like basically, if you're using it to reroll something, then it was so terrible you were going to die anyway. Like that's why I don't usually use wharf because I mean usually you're rolling pretty well on attack, but defense. Eh. You would like to say that, math guy, but I can prove to you that my dice will roll 11 blanks. I have seen it before. Okay, maybe not 11 blanks, like 8 blanks. In theory, you should get as many full blank rolls as you get full evade rolls, because it's the same percentage. It doesn't work that way for me. <laughs> the dice just hate me. My own dice hate me. Alright, so what do we think? Another sex set of secondary torpedoes, or do I upgrade this to cheat death? Mm. Man, Bolano, you're kind of getting wasted here. Oh no, you're not. You got two. You're doing two texts, that's right. So that's gonna be 90 points. I'm gonna go ahead and save that one, I think. Mm, if you're cloaked on the initial approach, it's not terrible. I feel like you don't want to shoot on the first turn. I'm kind of feeling like I want to... Why am I not using Transphasics again? Am I really that scared of feedback pulse? Going survival, stick to the plan, go cheat death. Yeah, that makes sense. And that, that actually does free up another point so that I have some chance of initiative. 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 So that's now we're looking at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. Yep, 89 points. And then if I cheat death while I'm cloaked, I still have all my shields 
in the first place. I really like combining Cheat Death with the, uh, hmm, the Ablade of Hull Armor, but I really don't like the Ablade of Hull Armor in general, and since it doesn't combine well with Cloak, it kind of sucks. So what are we looking at here? So we're looking at two defense dice, plus one is three, plus four is seven, plus one is eight, plus one is nine, plus two is eleven defense dice with a conversion. And if we go really terribly, we get bio circuitry. First turn, what we want to do is we want to cloak up and not be in range one at the first sign of danger. And then on round two, we get the free battle stations, we get Picard to target lock, and then we re-enable the cloak. That's kind of what I want to do. That would only be nine defense dice on the initial pass. I suppose I have to wait to engage till turn three. After that, I suppose I can turn four. Cyrano Jones, beam over some triples somewhere. It's just the whole, the same problem you always get. Oh, I've got a second ship though. If we're if we're kind of considering that this is going to be plus a thirty point ship. So if anything, the thirty point ship can help me out by at least drawing some fire for a while. Hopefully, I would pick up one of the cloaking ships. Probably, what I'd really like most is the Romulan. Uh, the Romulan Advanced Cloaking Ship to, to combine with this one. I think that would work well. Because then it would, it, would get, it would also get 7 defense dice because of the plus 1 bonus from my flagship. Oh yeah, because Voyager go, likes to go forward. Oh, that's not, too, that's not terrible. I mean, I could still do just a... Uh, I could do a 2 turn into a 2 turn. That's kind of not as far forward. Or a two turn, two forward, two turn. If I need to if I need to keep, you know, the distance. Or I could just, you know, start my ships facing off off to the side instead of straight ahead to someone. Yeah, I, th I think it's alright. I think it's alright enough. I think it deserves further test. I'll go ahead and save this one. So movement. Did I, did I do my checklist? Movement? Yes. With the cloak, I have sensor echo. I love that. Do I shoot first? Yes, I have Picard, and I also might have initiative. Shoot a lot. Quantum torpedoes, secondary torpedoes. So that's going to be 10 dice plus the damage, probably. So that's that's pretty good. Pretty good there. I don't have any way to initially get rid of transphasic pulse. But if they do have that, I can just slow roll them anyway, because I can use my regular attacks and not worry with my massive defense. I think that's worthy. Yeah, setting up perpendicular, that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and save this one. It's a Mega Voyager. I put that together to test out tomorrow. That's yeah, pretty cool. So that is that is what I came up with for a non-Borg pure faction pure list. I suppose if we wanted to go the other way, I would just be going with a whole ton of cloaked mines. Because I do have own like five copies of cloaked mines in the Praises. I kind of, hmm, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a quick swarm list in here. So, Kratos, Cloak Mine, Cloak Mine. Let's go. All right, Fall 69, have a good night, take it easy. Man, it's like 10.30 already. <laughs> That's cool. I'll keep going for a little while longer. Oh, you're heading out, Rand? Good seeing you here. You have a good night too. But yeah, for a quick let's for a quick swarm build. Not that I get to use cloak mines, but anyone who gets to would would probably surely have a great deal of fun with this. The Praetis, the cloaked mines. I don't think it even I don't feel like it even needs to attack. 
Like what it should do is just take the the Indie Rom flagship. Indie Rom. Mm. No. I want to do some damage. Let's say the scanning flagship. Indie Klingon flagship. That gets a tech and a talent. I need a crew slot in here somewhere. Cloaked Mines unique around here. Banned them for a while thanks to exploiting them in OP4. Yeah, I kind of, uh... I, I might have exploited them in every OP I was playing in, and eventually people were like, no, nah, this isn't any fun. Let's just ban them. I was actually a proponent for banning them as well, but, uh... I really think they're just too strong in general. But I made a whole episode on that, so you can go take a look at that if you wanted to. But, if you did a whole Cloaked Mind Swarm, you could do those. I'm gonna throw the Bajoran Interceptors in here, because I like the Interceptors. Interceptor, Interceptor, Interceptor. Because this is what I was thinking of before. We're gonna throw Denatra on here on the Praetis for more attack. I'm actually gonna take out the Cloak Mines just for now, just to see how many points I have. So, three Interceptors, plus the Praetis, plus the Flagship, plus the Natra. So that's 76 points right now, and I'm still getting another ship with the, uh, with the extra 30. So, let's say I wanted to... Hmm, how much does the Bajoran Interceptor weapon cost? Let's go Bajoran. The Bajoran weapon is only four, actually. That's not terrible. Is it only four? I feel like I'm going to have to look this up. Because I didn't actually put an attack value on this. Oops! <laughs> four points, three damage. Range one to three. Save that on there. So what I could do here is if I use phaser strike. <laughs> if I'm using phaser strike, I don't really need high level captains. Would I rather have high level captains instead is the question. This is actually doing more damage. Do I get a crewman off of this? The Jordan Interceptors allow crew. I think Interceptor 5 allows crew. There's Interceptor 5. Interceptor 5 allows a crew. Well, one of these is going to be Interceptor 5 regardless, because there's no reason not to. So if I do 4, 4, 4. Can I fit Cyrano Jones in here? Or am I going to have to put him on the Indy Flag flagship? I could actually put that on one of the Interceptors. Let's put it on Interceptor 5 instead. gonna make that a little easier to kill, but now I'm looking at 20, 20, 30, and 28. Mm. Wait, 30, 30, 20, 20, yeah, 20, 20, 30 is 70, and 18 is 88. I really want to fit Cyrano Jones in here, because Cyrano Jones works so well with Interceptors. I think we're going to have to actually take out an Interceptor. I don't think I have enough points for it. Can I use Phaser Strike with anything else? Plus 5 for anything other than an Interceptor. Uh, so if I do, it's not going to do very well. Let's see. So let's go ahead and take out this Interceptor. And throw in... What's another... Good should I upgrade the Praetis? I have that many points. I feel like I should upgrade the Praetis. I could actually upgrade it to the Valmor. And it's not a terrible idea. At least I don't think it's a terrible idea. 
because Valdor is a pretty strong ship just in general. Oop, I lost my chat. Come back, chat. Brainstorming, 8890. So, taking a look, I'm looking at... 34 plus 30 plus 20. That's enough room for Cyrano Jones here. And I've got two points if I want it. Actually, no, Cyrano is three on that ship now. I've got three points if I want it. I know, right, math guy? Ah, that was the, that was the problem with the problem I had with the uh, the Valdor in the first place because I couldn't use my interface generators that I got with it. I still have three points left. Is there anything else good that I could throw on these things? What else came with the Bajoran interceptor? I could actually put a captain on it. Oh, look. that's a uh, that, that might be an interesting idea. I mean, we could have Oprah Kira giving out target locks to everybody. But if I do that, I won't have the action for Phaser Strike. And I really want the action for Phaser Strike. I could use Tano Los, but I wouldn't have enough points for his tech upgrade. It doesn't leave really anyone else. Unless I go in, unless I start looking at the... Uh... Oh! Hmm. Hazar is too much. Le Lenaris, each time you're attacked, if you have an evade token, you may reroll one of your defense dice. I don't really like him that much. He's not that good. Militia is not going to help me because I still need to get a captain. Anara, discard for one. Hull, not that good. Maneuverability is too much. Warp drive, refit. Actually, let's go take a look at the independence. I like the independence, actually. Because I could pull some fun things with... Oh! I did just pick up a Gorn Commander today. Not today, but in the last week. I was thinking Kira, but you know, you're using your... you don't want to use her action too much. Because you want to use the action on your own ship as well. And the Valdor isn't really worried about its action, because it's mostly just going to target lock anyway. Majora Interceptor with Phaser Strike. I guess it would like a target lock. I kind of want to go with Gorn Commander, though. I like the free damage it gives me. Convert one blink into a hit. Mm. If I went with Kira, I could ditch Phaser Strike. If I went with Kira and ditch Phaser Strike, is there something better I could do? I'm getting a free scan. But the Zorans don't do anything with scan. I could go Hazar instead. No, because we're trying to get target locks for everyone. So let's say I did go with Kira. I wouldn't be able to use the phaser strike action in the same turn, which would be the unfortunate part. No, it's only 16 points. They're, they're one of those weird ones that since they don't have shields, they uh, they cost the same amount. Kind of like the Praetis and the generic Praetis cost the same amount. It's the same with the Interceptors. Hmm. So if I get rid of Phaser Strike, is there anything I can... Is there, There's not really a lot of Bajoran weapons. Like, Phaser Strike's the only Bajoran weapon. I'd rather have another weapon to throw on there, but... What else does it come with? Interceptor 5. One tech, one weapon, one crew. What's the tech upgrades? Oh, that's just maneuverability or the refit, isn't it? Blockade would be cool, but I can't use her and Kira's ability in the same round, which again would suck. Linalis. I already have a crewman. It'd be, man, it'd be nice if the Bajorans just had some... Oh, wait. I can use independent weapons. Independent weapon... Well, I can't use energy web, obviously. Focus particle beam comes in the blind pack, but that would be something I would be interested in having. Or I could use the plasma torpedoes. Does Kira give herself a target lock? Oh, 
All other friendly ships may immediately perform a target lock. So no, that doesn't help me there. I'd really like the particle beam on her. So if she is just going to attack standard, I guess that's fine because she's going to get three dice from the flagship. The Valdor will have four, five from Cloak, six from the flagship. The other Bajoran Interceptor gets plus one from Dinatra, plus one from the flagship, and the target lock from Kira. So that's five dice at Captain Skill 10. So that's actually pretty good too. So I guess the question is, do I want to throw maneuverability on someone or do I want to throw maybe a talent on Dinatra? What kind of, what kind of good Romulan talents are there? Mm, invasion plans? Not a terrible idea. I've got, make sure, 20, uh, 26, 30, that's 52, 82, 84 is 86. Now I have I have four points. Discard this card and spend your target lock to get plus two attack this round for oh, that's one of the new ones. Mm. Counterattack might be useful. I feel like though that they're still just gonna go after the interceptors first. And that's not going to happen until the very last one. I mean, I could just go with all forward disruptor banks just for the one extra die, because she's getting a free target lock from Kira. And that would put her up to seven attack dice. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. Or, instead, I forget that the Valdor actually has slots of its own, I could just use a tactical officer. And tactical officer is pretty darn good. I could use Tactical Officer and Param just in case. I feel like that's a good idea. Romulan Pilot's pretty good, but I don't feel like it's completely necessary in this build, especially since my Interceptors are going slower than my Valdor. Let's go with Tactical Officer. I'm going to throw Param in there because I have the extra slot. You never know when she might come in handy. And I'm shooting at I'm shooting at skill 10, skill 5, and skill 6 anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm running in close formation. Especially with the flagship, because I want to be in range 1 for the flagship and range 1 for Dinatra. So I'll probably have, you know, my Bajoran Interceptor on one side, whatever my 30-point ship happens to be on the other side, and Valdor and Interceptor 5 in the middle. I like it. I think that's a that's going to be a nice quick swarm that you can work with. I mean, it's still it, we say it's a swarm, but I guess with 100 with 120 points, it's easier to get four ships than it was with 100. And Valdor is pretty darn solid. Still not sure what it would do against Borg though, but I feel like the Borg will not work, will not synergize too well because I mean their other their secondary ship is going to take a beating really quickly. So this is going to be the easiest one to. Uh, to hit up on, to attack. E easiest way to deal damage and destroy first so that you're taking less damage in return. That's what I'm trying to go for. I'll go ahead and save this one. That's going to be one of the new swarm builds. I don't feel like, like with the, with the number of attacks it has, I don't feel like it's going to have too many problems. Cyrano Jones can work with the Bajoran Interceptor for extra damage there. And also the Val, it, it could also work on the Valdor if it comes later and I have the chance to do it. The blinds are going to shift a little folks off Borg. Hmm, it'd be nice to think that. I think the only reason that might happen though is because that might come close though is because they won't synergize well with the blind ships in the packs because the Borg are going to be doing a lot of damage, taking a lot of damage. You're not going to really be able to fit two spheres very well with at 90 points. So you're again going to be looking at one one big board ship, either a big sphere or a big cube, and then it's going to have this little dinky guy, you know, shooting around next to him, being like, "Hey, I'm I'm a ship too. Don't forget me." And then that thing just goes down in one hit because all of these blind ships only have like six HP total. 
Yeah, the Jaeger. I guess the Bamoth has a little more, little more meat to it, but actually, yeah, the Bamoth would probably be the best one to go with the Borg. All the rest of them, though, are not exactly you know frontline fighters. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think anything is gonna shift the take the shift off Borg just quite yet. I haven't seen anything too. Like, I haven't seen anything too revolutionary against them in the packs. Like, the only thing I think would even work moderately well is Shelby. Sphere, Solid Klingon. Yeah, I think that was pro that's probably going to probably gonna be a pretty good build. I usually, I prefer my, uh, I prefer my Keldon classes. Uh, Cloak and Battle Stations is a great combination. But, basically the same idea. Something, something, the uh, slightly weaker Sphere with a solid off-faction ship. And then you'll also have the uh, whatever 30 point you draw. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Anything from the rest of you guys? It's been a little quiet over here. What do we got? Doc V Doom, Troy DTV, Twitch Anonymous Twitch. Anyone got some questions or any opinions they're out looking for? Ran OP4 Dominion with three of them. Oh yeah, Kelvins are great. I had one of the one of the guys ran two Keldons, the Kraxon and the uh, the Dominion Fighters, the Hideki Fighters, and it was a very solid build. Like it didn't beat me, but it it hurt it hurt a lot of everybody else. That was another good one. Oh, also right on the right when we were doing when they released the Keldons, was that OP four? I don't remember. It was right when they released the Keldons, and you could take... I think you could take the planet for extra points. Is that OP3? I don't remember if it was OP3 or OP4, but I decided to try uh, three Keldons and uh, three Keldons and Denatra on an Apnex, and he went with three Keldons just with high captain skill. And man, it was brutal. He brutalized me. It was funny because we were at the top table and it was like, man, Dominion! I love my Dominion. I think it was probably the Earth attack then. Because I don't think I remember too much beaming down to the surface. I do remember going through the planet a couple times though. It's on one of the videos in my uh, on my YouTube channel, so that'd be pretty cool. But yeah. Had a couple good, had a couple good builds around here, so I think that's pretty cool. Just going to take a look at some of the other new cars coming out. I really need to input the Nevar or the Prize Ship because the Prize Ship had some pretty cool cars in it too. I'm really looking forward to Sakona. I think she's going to make. I want to throw something with Sakona and Balana on it, so I can get two extra weapon slots, all at minus two, two points. Like that could be a one, a one point uh, dorsal weapons array that you never need to redo it. Oh hey, not a problem. You know, I kind, I find, kind of felt bad that I wasn't getting, I didn't have enough for a full episode. I've been a little under the weather lately, but uh, just to, uh, just to chat with some people and get some ideas. You know, keep, keep the strategy flowing. I think it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing. Preemptive strike. I think is gonna be good. I mean, I gotta say, the blind ships are pretty solid ships. None of them seem to stand out as, you know, uh, something that's gonna just die right away. I wouldn't be sad. I wouldn't be sad regardless of which one I got. I really want to I really want to swarm all of them though. It'd be just that much fun. <laughs> ah, it's almost 11 o'clock, so I think I'm gonna think about heading out soon, but. You know, give you guys 10 minutes if you got any questions you want to think of. Any build opinions, any uh, any more paint jobs you guys want to show off. Any, any E3 news you want to share. The future of this game is bright. It's bright and shining like a Borg Sphere. Oh wait. I don't have mine lit up yet. But, I did see the... Uh, did see the pictures of Wave Seven from the uh, from the Dice Tower Twitter, so that's looking pretty cool. I can't 
I'm really going to look forward to the uh, Borg Scout Cube. But, uh... It's sad that it got delayed an extra month. Cool. Hey, have a good, good night, Doc V. Doom. You made a gray golf ball. <laughs> it's a bright gray golf ball, though, maybe, right? But yeah, it's um. So this month, this month we got wave five. Next month we get the Sung. Is July. We skip August because they had the production problems. So September we're getting the Borg Scout Cube, the Scout Cube, and I think it's the other Vulcan ship. And uh, man, I don't even remember now. What was wave seven? We need a dice tower Twitter. Oh, the NX-01. Yeah, the Scout Cube, the NX-01, and the Vulcan one. I don't know, I never really watched Enterprise that much, but, uh... Scout Cube will let you do two Borg ships in 90? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm looking forward to, a smaller, uh... A smaller Borg vessel. I'm guessing it'll probably be something more like, uh... Might actually have agility. If it's a scout cube. I'd be happy if it was like a four one uh, a four one five five. I feel that's because you know the Borg are still scary even with just a scout cube. And that was I think that would be a good price point. NX Enterprise. I don't know. I never watched too much of Enterprise, but hopefully it'll again since it's Federation. It should come with some at least some you know pretty good upgrades. NX is probably 2240 or something. Yeah, because they didn't have sh real shields back then. I think that's because that's how most of the, the that era ships are. They'll probably have like a tech slot for uh, something like polarized hull plating, I think it is. Another, and then another three crew slots and all, all of the named crew you can deal with. I've got to wonder though, you know, Locutus has got to come out on one of these one of these uh, Borg things. I just don't know which one. Like The cube, I think, was the best chance to get it, but since we're not getting an assimilation cube anytime yet, I really hope it's not with the big 8-inch cube. So that's going to be expensive on the pocket watch. On the pocket book. Got cube 4154. Yeah, I can see that. I'm sure we'll have some spoilers from... Uh, from, it, from anyone who gets to talk to, uh, what's his name? From anyone who gets to talk to Tom Basil once he gets back from Origins. I'm going to be watching that. E E3, there's so much to watch this week. E3 is still going on. It's only in, like, day one or two. Origins is really start getting in, in the swing tomorrow. So I'm sure there will be some kind of WizKids announcement. I'm just not sure if they're gonna, any are going to be for Attack Wing. And apparently Terry is doing a... Uh, that Terry girl on YouTube is doing a vlog a day with uh, with a lot of stuff. So she and she said that it was going to be there's going to be a lot of attack week stuff. So maybe we'll get something good from her. I hear that I hear that she has actually has the rules for the collective OP1 events. So we might actually get them from her before they're on the website, which would be cool. Well, not that's not cool, but cool getting them at all. That's <laughs> eh, all right if we're terrible at guessing these things. Well, it it makes the pleasant surprise. Ooh, excuse me, pleasant surprise when we get them all later. <laughs> all right, I think that's going to be good for tonight. Then, glad y'all glad y'all could make it. Anyone who you know had some questions or stuff. Yeah, Whiskers really likes her a lot. I think it's because of her connection with Geek and Sundry. And you know that's fair enough. Like the all the only other guys we have are like me and the uh, the Star Trek Attack Wing Facebook page, and we're not exactly you know famous, famous, frame. Yes. But yeah, we all love the game. So as long as we're getting it from somewhere, I think it's cool. But yeah, glad everyone came out to uh, visit and chat. Hopefully, I'll have a real episode for you guys next week. Uh, something cool. I mean, really, I've just been kind of stumped on what to do. So, I'll probably talk to I'll probably talk to Mike over this week and see if he has any good ideas. 
but yeah until then you know check out check out terry uh because she'll be having all those vlogs coming up uh keep an eye on origins maybe there will be something cool there and yeah Oh yeah, preview. Someone who gets really excited about previews is really cool, and I I get to play with some of the stuff tomorrow, so I'm gonna be happy. Well, wave five anyway. It's gonna be my first chance at that. So, yeah. Thanks for joining, everyone who's still left over. Doc V Doom, Math Guy, Troy D T V, Anonymous Twitch. Pleasure talking with you, and hopefully we'll get to uh, do this again sometime soon. You know, if you guys like it. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Take it easy.